Yesterday, there was over a dozen big city mayors in town uh, expressing concern about the signals that they're getting ahead of the budget. Uh, as you know, there's a bunch of long-term infrastructure programs put in place almost a decade ago that are now starting to expire. They're very concerned about that. Trudeau had promised to renew them in the fall. That didn't happen. Uh, and so they're saying with all these housing announcements, there's the government seems to be losing focus on the needs for basic infrastructure to support those houses. And there's no longer longer, no longer the long-term funds that they can tap into to plan their budget. So what is your response to those concerns? I'll say a couple things, and then I think maybe Sean wants to say a couple things too. Um, so let me start by saying uh, there is no federal government in Canadian history that has invested as ambitiously and as aggressively in infrastructure as our government. It was actually the centerpiece of our 2015 campaign commitment and we have delivered on that. And I think it's really important uh, for people to understand that that money is actually ramping up in the years ahead. Infrastructure takes a long time to build and the money is on the books and there's gonna be more and more going forward. So in 23-24, there is $4.3 billion of federal money going into infrastructure across the country. In 24, 25, it is nearly $5 billion. That is money already committed. In 25, 26, it is more than $7 billion. And so, you know, people just need to understand the money is there. It is out there building things across Canada. And I think we all recognize that when we travel around Canadian cities. You know, last week I was in... Winnipeg, Quebec City, and Toronto, and you just look around and you see infrastructure being built. That is a really good thing. Um, second, as Sean said, we recognize that housing is the central challenge for Canadians right mm -hmm. now. Um, you know, when people talk about affordability, yes, mm -hmm. they're talking about prices at the grocery store, and Francois Philippe is doing terrific work there. The single biggest thing in families' budgets is paying your mortgage or paying the rent. Um, and we know that the solution there is we just have to build more faster. We are absolutely committed to that. And we are doing it. You have seen a tremendous uh, rollout of housing, not just projects, but housing measures over the past few months, whether it's lifting the GST on purpose-built rental, that's two hundred to 300,000 new homes. Um, Sean has been zooming around the country doing housing accelerator fund deals. I think we're at 550,000 new homes built that way. Um, our former rental construction financing initiative, now it's the apartment construction loan fund, um, that uh, has been topped up and that is responsible for hundreds of thousands of homes being built. So we get that. We are working hard to do more and more on housing. And we do recognize that we have to have conversations around being sure um, that there is infrastructure to support that housing. But I just want to conclude by going back to where I started, which is there is a lot of money in the pipeline right now building the infrastructure that Canada needs. And we are glad that we have put that money out there.